name is Dawn Hamelein. I am an occupational therapist and an ATP. Okay. I am with Mobius Mobility. We do the iPod. Okay. So we've got Caleb here willing to be Hi, a Caleb. demo. <laughs> He's part of that. So one of the first things, once we have somebody in the equipment, the very first yeah, thing we need to do is actually customize the device to fit his body shape and structure. Yeah. So it does this, what's called a center of gravity fit. The device is gonna move you through all these different positions and it's gonna calculate and gather information as to where your balance point is. So you just sit and I'm driving. Oh. All right. So now I'm gonna tip you backwards and you're gonna pop up on two wheels. Oh, whoa. And so this two minute process of calibration makes it uniquely fit you so that as the device is used to go over five inch obstacles, go over the grass, go up and down stairs, it is just a better, it's a good fit. It's a match so it responds the way that we expect or want it to. So it goes into about six different positions and from the screen it shows that the sensors are gathering this information and data to identify exactly where Caleb's balance point is. So it go? <laughs> so now we're going to go up even higher. Caleb, do you feel secure on it? Yeah. It's <laughs> yeah, when you're leaning back it looks a little precarious. But <laughs> a little bit, right? It doesn't feel that way. It just feels like when it's all on all fours. That's yeah, awesome. A lot of times That's people amazing. get up here and they're like, am I on two wheels yet? Like, yeah. they don't even know. <laughs> it's so stable, yeah, huh? It's extremely, yeah, I think I'm more stable. nervous than he is. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're exactly right, which is why whenever people have an opportunity, you got to try it. Because you need, it, it feels different. Yeah. You'll notice when he's in these positions, it constantly has a little bit of a sway. It's like, I can only compare it to sitting at a dining room chair versus sitting in a rocking chair, right? Which one feels better, right? Yeah, the rocking chair. People, you know, if you're stuck in a wheelchair all the time and it's a very static position, uh -huh. you miss that vestibular sure. input. Yeah. And so it's kind of neat to have that type of an opportunity. Now you are good to go. So in this mode, you are in standard mode. This front drive wheel, you'll notice, is off the ground. The back drive wheel is in contact, and the casters are. So what this does, this allows the device to be driven like a rear wheel drive wheelchair. So you can drive around, um, go give it a ride. This is perfect for indoors. It'll go over inch and a half obstacles. It'll go over a 10 degree, um, It'll go up a 10 degree slope, but it's a great indoor option for people to be able to drive around their home and do what they need to do. Yeah. The next mode I want you to see is called balance mode. So there are two ways to get there. One is through the menu button or the other is through the shortcut. So if you push that menu button and you're gonna scroll the joystick right or left until you see balance, balance mode. Yep. So this time you're going to push forward, you're going to hold it forward, it tips you backwards and then pops you up on two wheels. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay. You may have noticed <laughs> when you did that transition, you stayed in this nice tight location. And that's because the device fit you perfectly. If you got out and I went in, it's going to travel more, it's not fit for me. So that is, shows that we have a nice fit. You notice you've got this little sway going on. If you actually just lean your body forward, the device will move a little bit. It's not going to drive per se, yeah. but it's always moving because the device's job is to stay underneath. You can drive in this mode also. So go do a little turns around here. And, and the nice part is you can actually go at a really decent clip. You do need more space to stop, so keep that in mind, Caleb. <laughs> wow, it works so good. Sensor on it? I'm sorry? Does it have a proximity sensor on it? It does not have a proximity sensor. So 
Yes, this device is very intuitive and it's very smart and it's got a lot of safety features built in. But the person using it is truly the one who has to decide what mode to be on based in the environment you're at. Oh, cool. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel too tippy or anything. It sure. Feels like you're How's the joystick? The. Yeah. It's responsive. It's Oh, awesome. Great. That's awesome. You hit this switch and you push it forward, it's going to raise your seat another five inches. <laughs> okay. So now, so the benefit of this, I'm sorry, but if, if normally, I don't know how tall Okay, so if you're normally stood at 6'2 and now you're in a wheelchair and you're sitting home, Kind of nice to be back inside the plane, right? Yeah. Um, it is helpful for reach. We know a lot of folks who have been oh, sure. in wheelchairs. Your shoulders can be a problem. Getting up into cabinets and Getting stuff. Getting up into cabinets. You can now actually reach your freezer. You know, some of those kind of things where that vertical environment isn't always accessible. So it's kind of nice to have this added height. The other thing is if... Uh, I know a lot of folks who sit in wheelchairs can tend to have a lot of chronic pain because you're mm -hmm. sitting static. So if you take this button and um, push it to the left, it will do what we call a little comfort tilt. It's nice. not a tilt space, it's not a pressure relieving per se, but it's a change of position. So the iPod oh, wow. uses lithium ion batteries. It takes one Allen wrench to take out each of the batteries. Oh, that's cassettes. awesome. They are. They're just cassettes in there. So one Allen wrench will pop them out. They're actually sealed in there from water. So the device can go in three inches of water. Or you can take a garden hose, hose the entire thing off. That's wonderful. If you've been out, you know, playing in the mud. Yeah. Uh, with the four batteries, you're looking at around 18 to 22 miles on a full charge. Wow. It's a lot of miles. Yeah, that's pretty good. If you're going up and down stairs all day, every day, it might be a little bit less. Balance mode, believe it or not, is the least battery because you don't have as much traction with the ground. And so you can go around in balance mode 22-ish miles. Yeah. It's farther than I can walk. And yeah. That's an overnight charge then? Uh, six to eight hours. Do you have to pull them out to charge them? Or? No. So we have a battery, um, the battery charging port here. And so you can, you know, you do your typical, people will plug it in at night. It also has a USB okay. with it for, you know, we all have our cell phones and need to charge things. So that's a standard that we can there. Awesome. Yeah. So I'm going to extend the assist handle because uh, Caleb, if you don't mind me coming out, Caleb already mentioned that his hands don't have a lot of grip to them. Sure. To be able to climb the stairs by yourself, you need to be able to get one hand under and one hand over. So since Caleb's hands aren't able to grasp this sufficiently, I'm going to do it. I'm going to assist him. Okay. Great. So now we're in stair mode, and I, he's essentially handed over the reins, so now I've got it. So I'm just going to slowly put some pressure down on the gear. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, wow. Whoa. It's like the chair is sort of stepping. Yeah. It's really crazy. Yes, but what's important to know is I'm doing all of this. Right. right. Like, the chair is not going through the doorstep. It does not climb stairs. It's the people who are operating it. Gotcha. This time, I just want you to slowly come down the ramp. And one of the things you're going to notice is that the chair does its own self-leveling. Oh. So, I'm sure in your manual chair, you probably felt like you were going to fall out. Look at that. Yeah, it's just adjusting with them. Totally adjusted. Oh. Not bad. In four wheel mode, you can go over obstacles five inches. And so that's an example of what you might experience with a curve. That looked so smooth, too, the way the back wheels went. Yeah. Thank you so much for the demonstration. You are so Yeah, welcome. and thanks, Caleb.